So let us come back and do a numerical way we are going to study or relate between normality and molarity. So basically before going into the numerical let us learn what actually is normality and come back to the numerical. So when I have to speak about normality, <coughs> normality is denoted by capital N. Done? Yes. So when I have to learn the formula, first important thing, let's write it in shortcuts and short forms and then come back to the main thing. So N is equal to, remember, it is W by E into V. What are this W? What are this E? What is this E in everything? Okay, instead of E, E, Q also. Right. W stands for weight of solute. Yes. E, Q stands for equivalent weight equivalent mass okay, weight of solute v stands for volume of solution in liters this is your concept that now what actually is equivalent weight so whenever you're learning equivalent weight it can be equivalent weight varies with acids bases and salts so let's see what it is equivalent weight for an acid the formula is molecular mass or molecular weight divided by basicity of acid this is the formula okay let us come back and solve see that when i am speaking about equivalent weight of a base i am going to write in terms of molecular weight of the base by acidity of acidity of base done when i'm learning equivalent weight of a salt yes i'm going to learn or the formula is formula weight because so for salts we take formula weight isn't it formula weight by number of valence electrons on metal atom on metal atom done if i'm going to calculate equivalent weight for in a redox reaction this is all your grade 11 syllabus in redox reaction the form formula is formula weight by change in oxidation number change in oxidation number done so many things easy actually it is there's nothing in this <clears throat> now so this is your base now what happened what is this given to us it's given a sodium bicarbonate is given to us that's a salt so which formula will i use i'm going to use this formula salt formula so suppose if i take an example what is this basicity suppose if i take sulfuric acid yeah sulfuric acid molecular weight 98 basicity is a number of protons present in this so two this is your basicity done yeah simple <laughs> like um, uh, for example if you are uh, uh, picking up for salt in the above case yes now i'm going to use that and come back and do this let's uh, uh, do the whole concept simple i just for your information i've given you this let's come back and use this formula for equivalent weight now what should i calculate in uh, your sum i have to calculate two important things one is normality and one is molarity now let us divide the page what do they give me molarity i need to find normality i have to find Done. Molarity <coughs> denoted by capital M, normality by capital N. Right. So according to this formula, this is equal to no, okay, number of moles, number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liters. Correct. Now number of moles is nothing but weight by molecular weight. Yes, into 1 by V. So, here according to the data given, what is the weight given? Weight given here is your 0.75 grams. 0.75 grams. Molecular weight is also given. It is given as 84 gram per mole into. <coughs> now, observe carefully. What do they say? The volume dissolved is uh, 250 ml, they said, isn't it? So, 1 by V is 250 ml, which is made up to 1000 ml. 
because in liter you will calculate this isn't it so then when this is important 250 ml is dissolved and you will make up to 1000 ml which comes to molarity comes to your 0.0357 unit for molarity is mole per liter this is your unit for molarity because your ml ml and gets cancelled <coughs> this gram gram gets cancelled this whole thing is for one liter so mole per liter that is a unit and normality i have to calculate so when i have to calculate normality what formula did i say normal normality is equal to weight of the solute by equivalent weight of solute into one by v i said done yes now important thing here equivalent weight i have to calculate first so to calculate first equivalent weight equivalent weight of solute solute is nothing but a salt given to us here so salt what is the molar mass what is the formula for salt molecular weight divided by your uh, this is a charge on metal atom charge on metal atom so what is the molecular weight given to us molecular weight given to us is 84 gram per mole charge on metal atom now this is your metal atom divide this this is na plus one hco <laughs> three minus one the metal atom charges so the equivalent weight which i got is eq weight which i got is 84 <laughs> equivalent actually if i should not uh, write uh, this in this particular thing you're going to write it as equivalent mole inverse that is your equivalent weight okay let us come back and do that now i've got equivalent weight 84 let's come back and substitute n is equal to what is the weight of the solute given to us it is 0.75 grams divided by equivalent weight which i got is 84 <coughs> gram per mole or uh, as i said equivalent mole inverse into your volume what is the volume given to us they said 250 ml then so that is made up to your uh, 1000 ml right when i solve i again get an answer of 0 0.0357 equivalent weight this is important here it is mole per liter so this is equivalent weight per liter this is your sum